एवरीवन वेलकम वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इफ यू आर सीइंग दिस फेस फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम हाय आई एम अदिति एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग एज अ कंटेंट राइटर एंड अ कॉपी राइटर फॉर सिक्स इयर्स नाउ टुडे आई एम हियर टू शेयर विद यू फाइव इनक्रेडिबली इजी वेज टू गेट पेइंग क्लाइंट्स थ्रू इंस्टाग्राम एंड मे बी मेक मनी सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड we all are always asking each other how to increase our followers on instagram we have always been obsessed with that number why is that it is because maybe we all think that the more number of following we have the more eyes are on our profile our page or our business eventually but that is far from reality having a massive following does not necessarily mean that you will get huge amount of paying customers or clients Getting paying clients from Instagram relies on only one and only one way and that is building genuine relationships with your followers. You have to be be there for them. You have to help them and eventually add value in their lives. This is the only way to get paying clients or customers through any social media platform. The two major ingredients on attracting customers on social media are first optimizing your social media posts to get found and second offering certain value to your followers as well as non followers you have to provide solution to a problem and this can be the target audience can be even your non followers but in any way in any certain way you have to add value to the life of your audience and but with these two secret ingredients you can easily rock the recipe of social media here are the five ways in which you can also get your first paying client or your first paying customer via instagram first have a rich bio even though this sounds very simple or maybe lame but this is a very substantial point for everybody who wants to up their social media game You have to have a very rich bio which gives an introduction of who you are what you offer where you're located and and what is your USP A rich bio also includes a good photograph of yourself it includes your name for example my instagram bio is content cappuccino but i ensure that i mention my name that is aditi gupta in the bio so that people can find me even by my name ensure that you are also including that where you are located at and where are your services span in what all areas are you providing your services or are you delivering your products this is again very important you can also use few hashtags to optimize your bio and add emoticons to attract more uh, people also end your instagram bio with a very clear call to action A call to action can be DM and let's get started. A call to action can be visit my website. A call to action can be check out my YouTube video and something like that. Always end your social media bio with a clear call to action. Include a clear picture of yourself, your real name, the services you offer and what is the service span. Second, geotagging. Instagram did a huge favor on all of us by rolling out the feature of a geotag. Adding a geotag to your story to your post help people to find you in even the explore pages of the places. If you add a geotag you also add a credibility for your audience that you are based here and your services are available in these many places. Geotag is a blessing for so many people because for people who are working in local places who are providing their services in local areas or within a certain restricted area it will it is very very helpful for them so or ensure that if you are providing services in certain areas to add a geotag we underestimate this tool but it is very significant and and can help you find actually real targeted audience who is looking for you third keep your hashtag game on hashtags are so important it's like seo for instagram or any social media for that matter use hashtags there's a good news here that you can use up to 30 hashtags in an instagram post and up to 10 hashtags in your instagram stories one mistake that most of us do is we use the most popular of hashtags in our posts or stories 
that is not something that you want because it will bury your content within seconds among the millions of content that is using the same hashtag. So you have to keep up a balanced content and hashtag strategy. The hashtag strategy should include the very popular hashtags as well as less popular hashtags. When you use less popular hashtags along with popular hashtags, not only are you increasing your reach, but people who are looking for those certain terms will also find you easily. When you're using less popular hashtags, the competition is very less and there are more chances of you to be found. So balance out your hashtag strategy and use it to your advantage. You can use 30 hashtags and 30 hashtags can include very popular hashtags, mildly popular hashtags and few less popular hashtags but very specific ones. Fourth, reach out through comments and DMs. I have been stressing on this so much because it is called social media for a reason. You have to get social. So if you are using social media, you can try reaching out to people via comments and DMs. You do not have to wait for your clients or customers to approach you. Instead, you can reach out to them. But uh, you have to remember one thing very clearly. You do not have to get annoying and spamming people if you are reaching out to them. You do not have to reach out to someone who is not even looking for you. So what you can do in this situation is that look out who is commenting on your images, commenting on your post, who is engaging in your stories, who is liking your images and who is looking for you. Reach out to only those people who are actually needing help, who actually need your help or you think you can help any person in that way. Do not spam people, but try to engage with them via DMs and comments. You can even comment back on their social media page, on their posts and even compliment them in some way or ask if they need a certain help or not. So engaging is very important and engaging via comments increases the overall score of your social media game. So content is a very helpful tool along with DMs because it gives you the advantage of having a real conversation and maybe cracking deals. Fifth, create a lead magnet. We often forget that we do not own our followers on Instagram. Instagram does. Instagram also keeps changing its algorithm here and then. It's, it, it changes its algorithm so often that understanding the algorithm and again keeping up with that is very difficult. So instead of just having those followers on your Instagram page, create a list so that people can reach out to you easily. That can be a subscription to your email list or that can be a subscription to your YouTube channel, for example, or your WhatsApp community group or anything for that matter. You just have to have another backup option for your leads. You cannot just rely on Instagram because there are situations when Instagram will change its algorithm and you won't be able to reach out to as many customers as you potentially can. Or God forbid, what if your account gets hacked someday? You will lose all your paying customers, all your followers and even the potential non-followers who are going to follow you. So do not uh, just rely on Instagram for keeping your paying customer list. Create a lead magnet list and ask your followers because Instagram has that quality that it can give you a very good lead magnet list. So ask your followers to join you apart from Instagram on any social media platform and reach out to you and be there in your contact, in your touch so you both have access to each other whenever in need. And yes, that's it for this video. I hope this video helps and you can also get your first paying client or even more paying clients from your social media. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video. It would mean the absolute world for me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.